Welcome back. There is a new release of the HackG2 version 2.21b, and it's getting better and better. Not only that, there has been a list made of all the games that we're currently having issues for, but Cluster himself also built in some software that'll tell you um, whether you want to use a third-party emulator or not, if there's a compatibility issue with the current ROM you're putting over. Um, we have better compatibility with a lot more games now. Um, you remove thumbnails so there's no longer slowdowns. We've also had the ability to change the scan lines. There's some different visuals you could do now through the hack. And then lastly, you could do some extra space. So you can actually move some of your save states so that they don't take as much space, thus giving you 50 additional megabytes. So that's about you know 30 to 50 games potentially that you can now add in addition on your hack so very cool stuff here's a list I'm gonna go and post this in the description um, if you want to see some of the games that are having issues I don't think this list is totally up to date but I do notice a lot of these games do have issues a common question I'm getting is do you hook the SNES directly to your computer yes through the mini micro uh, USB here that's the that's the slot you will be connecting to in order to download the new hack just click down here so you run the zip, go ahead and drag it over. Use WinRAR, 7-Zip, any of those programs will work just fine. Go ahead and open our hack chi, and we're gonna go to SNES Classic Mini. All you gotta do is you gotta hook up your SNES Classic Mini, dump your stock kernel so you have that in case you wanna back up. You wanna go ahead and do add more games. Go ahead and find your ROMs. I'm just gonna show you there's some issues with some ROMs in the A directory. Point of this list here, right? We have ActRaiser 2, Alien vs. Predator, Asterix having issues, right? So let's just try these. ActRaiser 2, Alien vs. Predator. So go ahead and press open, and here you go. So this is the built-in feature that's brand new. It says, oops, it seems like ActRaiser 2 is not going to work correctly with the original emulator. Did you wanna use a third-party emulator? So you can go ahead and say yes. And you can see, oh, again with Alien vs. Predator, yes. And again with this, yes. And yes. And basically what this allows you to do is try a different emulator that may work for these games. But as you can see, if you do a regular game like Three Ninjas Kick Back, that's a perfectly good game that works as is. It doesn't prompt you with that feature. So this, this app is extremely easy to use. It's going to prompt you with everything. Um, the only other things you want to do is just go ahead and download your box art. And uh, it'll go ahead and get those box arts for you using the internet and once that's completed and you've backed up your kernel you're just gonna you want to go ahead and uh, set up your pages and folders that's how it's going to display on your SNES classic and then go ahead and synchronize go ahead and say yes and all these games are now on your SNES classic so if you want the full tutorial I did make this video back when version 2.20 came out so if you need some clarification go ahead and check out that video there'll be a link in the description the other question I get is where do you get these ROMs at I mean there's lots of places to get them at I unfortunately cannot link them in the description but I'm sure someone will link them in the comment section below so I recommend looking there I do not recommend buying ROMs or anybody that says you send you a USB thumb drive do not trust that don't do that so there you go there's some common questions some updates let me know if you guys got any questions in the comments below otherwise don't forget to leave a little thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one